I'm gonna tell Monica and Jessica uh, Jerome's about to get bus butt blasted by yours truly, and they're gone. They're gone to, to go do protagonist things. Okay. Alright, just making sure that this conversation is done. Oh, there you go. What are you students? We're gonna. <laughs> wow. <laughs> well, I'm sorry, Leonard, that no, they didn't all want to, like, group bang you. It must be tough being an old man. Let's not go in there. Let's go in here. Because that's, that's the creepy clerk room. Okay. Let's not go in here. Let's go in here. This is the creepy clerk room. Oh, hey, it's Monica. Where's the sweets? Wait a second. Sweets. Sweets are a room, but they're also a candy. Connie wanted candy. This is all coming together, folks. I am still, but you just have to click on the door twice. Again, this is my own fault. It's not my fault. Like, that, no, Rooney really just kind of spasmed. Hey, ominous shadow lady. Oh, hey. oh she's cute. Look, wow, look at look at this look at this girl. Oh, she's got she's got like gray eyes. That's pretty. That's pretty pretty. It's much more funny hat. You know, we could just drink some rosé and just you know do whatever. That's just that's just me. There's a pool. There's a pool table. I'm going to play me some billiards. Okay. Oh, there you go. I've never played billiards before. I did. I have. I'm really good at them sometimes when I'm not really bad at them sometimes. You throw sharp things at an object. That's something that if you weren't playing darts would be like illegal. I'm the first mate, Saul. Hey, first mate, Saul. You know, things are about to shit the bed in like, like an hour. Oh! This is important. Saul's... Oh! <laughs> Alright, Saul. My man. <laughs> I got his phone number. I better call so oh, oh Bob Odenkirk, you don't know that you're being referenced in Night Cry. <laughs> it's nuts. This is <laughs> Why is Saul posting about billiard rules? Why is Saul such a fucking dork? You know, let's anyway, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> uh uh, no, this is good. This is good that I got Saul's number. I feel like that's a thing that helps determine my life, <laughs> whether or not I have Saul's number. Okay, so we explored the game room. We can't really play any games from the looks of it. And, but we did talk to Saul, and he did just fire up my loins in preparation for Jerome. So let's, let's go. Dude, I should be. I should be talking. Uh, uh, let's go. <laughs> Gotta go fast, just like Sonic the Hoo Ha. This door leads to the shopping area of the ship. I have no reason to go over there right now. Okay. Is he one of these? Here we go. All right, Saul. So. All right. Oh, oh, fucking God. God damn it. Wait. 
Rooney's the scissor man? What? Huh? Oh, he wants some dap. Give, give scissor man some dap. What? Oh, he had, he had a scissor premonition. <laughs> hey, Jerome, check out my chainsaw hockey mask. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. All right. Sup, Jerome. I'm just going to look at everything else in the room before I talk to you. That's just something I like to do. Oh, I'm above it. I'm above it. Well, if you bend down, you will be eye level to rummaging, and then you could do it a lot easier, you know. Oh, some champagne. Yep. Oh, whoa. I saw logical physics. This game's amazing. All right, Jerome. Oh, oh, I'm gonna pop a squat. All right, I'm not. E Instead, I'm just gonna talk to him standing up. <clears throat> Cause you looked like a crazy scissor wearing man came in, and it's this game needs music and ambiance. Like Jesus Christ, these are so quiet, and it's awkward, and, it's, and I have to fill the void, and I'm and I'm not sure I'm good enough. All right, I'll admit that. I'll admit that. Alright, I, I, I didn't mean anything I just said. Oh, he's having bad dreams. We came here to talk about bad dreams, about suicidal tendencies, which is a pretty decent band. It's got... I, it's not Danny Trejo. It's whoever plays the bass for Metallica right now. Unless that changed. Danny Trujo. Is it... Fuck, is it... Oh my god, I feel like I'm racist now. Anyway. Uh, feeling talking you out on the deck... Um, re Weevil on the wood, Rex Raptor, you know, he's, you know, time to let go. <laughs> oh, he's, we're just going to talk about memory lapses and stuff. Memory lapses being a key part of the Quantic Dream game, Heavy Rain. Uh, if you didn't know, Ethan Moore is the main protagonist in Heavy Rain has blackouts in which he forgets things. <laughs> now originally that was supposed to be every time he blacked out that was supposed to be a psychic mental link with the killer that was happening but someone was like David Cage I know in the last game you had someone fight the internet and in the next game you can have someone fight uh, a Navajo demon ghost but this is too ridiculous, even for you, David Cage. And he was like, we. Oui. I don't know what happened. It's gonna freshen up or join Jerome in here. One of the two. Oh, bathtub jump. Bathtub jump scare. Eternal darkness. <gasps> oh my god. <laughs> Alright, just not even a comment. Just like, look at this. It's a bathroom. Well. I'm assuming that's a hiding spot. I'm assuming it won't be a great hiding spot. Uh, I'm, I'm assuming I should have paid attention because I don't know what I'm doing right now. Oh, hello. The store like oh to the bed to the boudoir, the boudoir area. You know, for those who speak French. Can I drink some wine? Looks. By the sound of the shower, that's okay. I just you just said shower. I went to check out the shower. What the what? What now? Now it's loading in shower. Now it's loading in shower. All right, triple A. Oh, now it's gonna freeze and do that thing that makes me worry every time it freezes. I'm gonna click, I'm gonna click. Oh. Oh, <laughs> it went through. It went through. That's the first time I've waited for a program to respond, and it just not shit itself. So just for that, that's impressive. Jerome, you were, this was not the bathroom I was in two seconds prior, my friend. <laughs> Mother of... 
ass. M shit myself to death. Take the girl. Take Connie. Good for you, Ronnie. Your wish is gonna come true now. You can join a world of no. You know, Connie's right. I should just let Scissor Man come and get my good stuff. Just get up in my guts. Oh, oh. Jerome! Alright. Goodbye. <laughs> She's just holding Scissor Man back. I feel like I should like hit him or something. Like just like punch him in the nuts. Like help. Okay, alright, we're running now. We're running. I don't know where we're running to, but oh. Running in here. Alright. Holy shit. Oh my god. Oh my goodness, great fucking blood. Fucking phantom blood. Holy shit. Alright. Oh my god, this is this is cool. I won't look at these movie posters, but I can't. Because there's a there's a scissor man after me. What a thick me <laughs> Oh, this is nice. This is cool. It's a movie theater. I like this. This is nice. Alright, let's uh I think it's uh, uh that's oh we got all these references, maybe. Who knows? Is he Oh there he is. Don't stop. Don't stop. Don't even know how to stop. No, let's go. Let's go forward. We're already all the way here. Let's go forward. It's locked. Fantastic. Oh, okay. Come, shit my ass, girl. No. Oh my god. Where am I supposed to go? This area is so wide open. What? What? All right. Okay. <laughs> this is ridiculous. This is a bit ridiculous, actually. Oh, I'll hide in the chairs. I'll hide. No, perfect spot. Just lay on the ground. Holy shit! Oh. <laughs> Oh my, this is ridiculous. I can't believe this worked. I can't believe this is working. Oh my god, Scissor Man is... You suck. Bitch ass Scissor Man, yeah that's right. Run away you coward, you ain't got shit. I'm Rooney Mofon Simpson. That's it.